Welcome to Instant Deck Techs. The aim of this series is to give you a short, concise guide on how to build a certain deck. It won't cover every card, but we'll go through all the categories and go over the types of cards needed to make the deck work. Any card mentioned will be down in the description below. The commander of this deck is Jury Master of the Review. He costs a black and a red, and is a 1-1 legendary creature human shaman. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, put a plus one counter on Jury. When he dies, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. The aim of this deck is to use sacrifice effects to deal damage to our opponents, all while buffing up Jury so that he gets large enough to fling straight at our opponent's faces. This deck will be built a bit differently to other aristocrat style decks. We'll be looking for effects that deal damage when our creatures die and not drain. These are all good versions of this, and I would want to run at least 8 of these effects. The reason for running effects that deal damage and not standard life loss is because it means we can run effects that double damage, which will synergize nicely with Jury when he dies. You want between 4 and 8 of these as well. If you're not a fan of damage doublers, then you can run the standard aristocrat drain effects. The benefit of these is that they are cheaper to cast. We want to run some token generating effects in the deck. We want to make sure we have plenty of things that can die to buff Jury. The tokens can be made either when they come into play or when they die. These effects here will make a ton of creatures when the previous lot die. You want between 12 to 16 of both groups in this deck, but make sure you play more low drops than high drops so you can curve out nicely. Our card draw will also be linked to creatures dying. The ones that sack creatures and draw us cards at the same time will generally be better, but the ones that sit there and benefit from our creatures dying are also pretty good too. You want at least 4 of these effects, but the closer you are to 8 the better. For sack outlets, we want to make sure we have an easy way to sacrifice our creatures. We are mainly looking for effects that are free. There will be other sack effects on some of the other cards, but in total you want at least 8 sack outlets in the deck, and look for ones with interesting effects as well, like direct damage, recursion, or card draw. Treasure works really well in this deck, as it's ramp that also buffs our commander. If we get enough, it can also be a win condition with revel in riches. You can run up to 4 of these in the deck. We want to run a number of fling effects in the deck. The dream is that we can kill two opponents at the same time, as fling effects will deal damage to one opponent while the jury deals damage to the other. I would want to run between 4 and 8 of these effects, but you can run less if the effects you're running are repeatable. As the damage jury deals when he dies is based on his power and not the number of plus one song counters on him, we can play some buff effects to raise that power so he will do more when he dies. Also, if you want to be horrible, you can run grafted exoskeleton, as with infect you only need to deal 10 damage to kill an opponent. We want at least 8 ways of interacting with our opponents. There is plenty of stuff in these colours, so run the most efficient ones you have available to you. Remember you want to be able to interact with enchantments and artefacts as well as creatures and planeswalkers. We want to run at least 8 bits of ramp in the deck. Half of it should be solid and consistent. The other half we want to synergize with the deck by having them be able to sacrifice themselves. As plenty of stuff will be going to our graveyard, living death will be fantastic in this deck. With everything coming back in one go, Flay of the Hatebound is a one shot win condition. I mentioned both of these in my video on Haymakers, but with all the creatures that will be dying, casting Vicious Shadows if we have a board state should be game over. With all the free sack outlets as well, if we don't kill our opponents with Insurrection, we can sack them before they go back to our opponents, so we are very very far ahead. Reign of Filth is an interesting card and it's very all in. The upside to this card is obviously fantastic, but if you don't win straight away then you may have just thrown the game. Run it in the ramp slot if you think it's fun. Fetch lands will be good in the deck, but they are expensive. There are plenty of other budget options that either sacrifice themselves or are other permanents. You can run more of the ones that want to fix our mana, such as Terramorphic Expanse, Evolving Wilds, the Panoramas, that kind of thing. Effects on lands that don't fix our mana I would only go up to 4 of. Also, our commander will get huge, so playing Rose Passage will mean he can get through for a commander damage win. The rest of the mana base will be dependent on your budget. Look out for a video soon on this channel covering budget commander mana bases. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and let us know down below if there's any decks you would like to see a deck tech on.